All right, so today we're I'm showing off Test of War 2F. Um, this is a capture the flag map, uh, pretty decent one at that. Uh, nothing, not the absolute most spectacular, mind blowing thing ever, but you know I liked it. I'll show you real quick here. So you got a nice, you got to defeat the enemy, which is very important. Don't ever let that like you know be like distract you from the truth. Um, as you can see here, you got a little sniper roost. Uh, I like the capture the flag, like, air pff, capture the flag, the flag area for some reason. This is how every flag area should just be. Just a, a plain-ass glowing flag. I guess I wouldn't make it plain-ass at all, but, you know, a glowing flag in the middle of some old computers. That's true. That, that's, that is visionary. Absolutely stunning. So, yeah, if we go around here, uh, you got your base. I think it's, as you can see, it's not exactly the biggest, uh map in existence because right over here is the other enemy base and oh well i thought i was playing half-life for some reason i had a flashlight anyway as you can see this is kind of my as good a little map as this is for like its size this is my one little nitpick is like why would you make this so small like if, from like you know judging by the description like in the readme the author really wanted you to be killing people versus like capturing flags the object this is a to quote the object is to kill your enemy in any way possible. Take the flag or make a frag. You know, that's what the author wrote. Um, so obviously he had, like, you know, more, like, frantic, like, fragging action in mind here. But, like, come on. If you're, like, you know, you're gonna go, like, even fake interest in having it be, like, a capture the flag map. At least, like, you know, make it open. Oh, well. I still thought it was okay for what it was. Uh, let's sh show it off. You know, could he qualify his little message, too, by having defeat the enemy or capture the flag? You know, why is if I don't want to defeat the enemy? I just want to be a good team member and get that flag for great glory. I don't know. I just think that's a funny name, Test of War. Like, you know, what, what, what exactly, who's testing us even? Like, you know, who is running an essay, or essay, sorry, an exam on my skills as a warmonger? There's actually two, um, spawn points my head had. I always think there's only one. I don't know why, when I first played that, I made that connection and then I just stuck on it for a long time. I don't think there's a- oh, there's a heavy weapons guy on my team, I was about to say. That's odd for the bots to not try to have one of them. Don't stand right beside- 
suicide is like the part where the enemies can kill you then. What a stupid place to ask for medical attention, silly goose. Why not like come back in the base? What a guy! This guy! <laughs> One major flaw right away is that there's very little rocket jumping, tom jumping, or likewise to be done with this map. Which is a shame because I feel that's a hallmark of this kind of game. Oh well. help is if an engineer behind that one rock built a teleporter or something. Why I don't switch to engineer and do that myself, can't help you then.
also saying earlier that this map's not particularly amazing. Um, if you're talking about team deathmatch, though, this is, does a hella, hella better job at, like, you know, accomplishing it. Like, you know, being a team deathmatch map than any of the Half-Life maps that I've played so far on in this game. Let's be completely honest. Because, like, look, you got team spawns, you got, like, you know, little roles for, like, areas that each of the classes can be useful in. Like, so, you know, this is actually... I would have just removed the flags entirely. I would have just put them in, like, you know, a completely unobtainable spot if you were that focused on, like, making a team deathmatch map. I would have just did that. Make it so you can't even get the flags. Or, like, you know, maybe go, go all out and have, like, four bases. Also, I don't know why the bot decided to chat there. Never do any other time, but okay. But yeah, let's be completely clear. As a capture of the flag map, this kind of fails. But as, like, you know, an actual team deathmatch one, this is a far better job. But then again, if you were gonna go that road and you really wanted to make it, like, you know, a deathmatch map in, in Team Fortress Classic, make it more open. Like, again, this does work, but, you know, have more of the map, like, you know, more of, like, the map be a battlefield. Versus just this kind of central area, you know? What do I know, though? and get that play. Let's do it.
Captain the Flake map, but an above average uh, Team Deathmatch ish map. Uh, slightly recommended. 